Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Nathan Hartman filling in for Tom Corliss, who's on his way to Disneyland. Here now is the news for May 24th, 2019. Disney has announced a brand new Summer One World ticket offering just for this year's upcoming summer season. The special offered ticket includes admission to all four theme parks and two water parks. Starting June 4th, you'll be able to purchase the ticket at DisneyWorld.com through the Disney Reservation Center or authorized travel professionals and ticket sellers for the price of $444 plus tax per ticket. The ticket offers flexibility, as you can visit more than one park per day, but it must be used by August 28, 2019, or the price paid will be put towards a new ticket at equal or higher price. These tickets, of course, for the summer, expire right before the opening of Galaxy's Edge. Disney has also recently announced additional Disney After Hours dates through the month of September for Disney World. The parks included our Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. Head on over to our site to see the dates for each of those parks. All Disney After Hours event tickets cost $125 plus tax for advanced purchase or $129 plus tax for day of. Disney Vacation Club members and annual pass holders, of course, get a discounted rate at $95 plus tax. The Theme Entertainment Association and AECOM Economics Practice have released their 2018 Theme Index and Museum Index, featuring the ranking of annual attendance for theme parks worldwide for 2018. And once again, no surprise, Disney parks lead the way. All Disney attractions uh, were ranked as number one in theme park groups uh, in terms of attendance, with over 157 million visitors worldwide in 2018, a 4.9% boost from the previous year. And not surprisingly, that means that all Disney parks were in the top 25 visited parks worldwide. The Magic Kingdom was the world's most visited theme park with just over 20 million visitors, while Animal Kingdom experienced the biggest growth of any Disney park at 10%. Of course, this is bolstered by the full year of operations of Pandora, the world of Avatar. Disney has just rolled out some new character-inspired animated magic shots, but the one catching all the attention is the brand new Super Zoom video, giving you a bird's-eye view of your moment at the Magic Kingdom. To try this, look for a PhotoPass photographer during daylight hours in the East Plaza Garden, and that will assist you with capturing two one-of-a-kind photos and then the Super Zoom video. The photos and video for this limited time opportunity are included as part of a Memory Maker or a Memory Maker One Day entitlement. So all you've got to do is smile and share. And now for some Galaxy's Edge news. Disney has just released the first look at the official Disneyland Park guide map, featuring the full map of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, as well as attraction and dining markers throughout the land. As you can see, there are three entrances into the new 14-acre land, and if you want to check it out for yourself, the map is available on your mobile phone or desktop through Disneyland.com or the official Disneyland app. Recently, we've had our first look at food and beverages that will be offered in three Galaxy's Edge establishments, Ronto Roasters, Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo, and Oga's Cantina. Let's break these all down for you. First, Ronto Roasters will have you covered with an array of sweet and savory items. For breakfast, we have the Ronto Morning Wrap, consisting of scrambled eggs, grilled pork sausage, shredded cheddar, and pepper peppercorn sauce wrapped in a pita, and the Rising Moon's Overnight Oats, made up of oats, dragon fruit, yogurt, and seasonal fruit. As entree items, Ronto Roasters will offer Nuna Turkey Jerky and the Ronto Wrap, which consists of roasted pork, grilled pork sausage, peppercorn sauce, and tangy slaw, all wrapped in a pita. The establishment will also have several specialty beverages that combine lemonades and other juices, including the Tatooine Sunset, the Melu Run Juice, and the Sour Sarlacc. Over at Docking Bay 7, Food and Cargo, the Rising Moon's Overnight Oats will also be offered, as well as two other breakfast dishes, the Mustafarian Lava Roll, an intergalactic take on the cinnamon roll, and the Bright Sun's Morning, which is a three-cheese egg bite pork sausage, purple potato hash, and mini Mustafarian Lava Roll. For lunch, the docking bay will have the Felucian Garden Spread, made up of plant-based kefta, herb hummus, tomato cucumber relish, and a pita. For dinner, several items will be available, including the Braised Shack Roast, a beef pot roast with cavatelli pasta, wilted kale, and mushrooms. Also available, the Thorian Garden Loaf, a plant-based meatloaf with roasted vegetable potato mash, seasonal vegetables, and mushroom sauce. Other all-day entrees include smoked cadu ribs. These are sticky pork ribs with a blueberry corn muffin and cabbage slaw. Fried Indorian tip yip, a crispy chicken with roasted vegetable potato mash and herb gravy. 
roasted indorian tip yip salad. That is a marinated chicken with mixed greens, roasted seasonal vegetables, quinoa, and pumpkin seeds tossed in green curry ranch. And finally, the yob shrimp noodle salad, a chilled shrimp dish with marinated noodles, vegetables, and cilantro. Still hungry? Well, Docking Bay has desserts covered as well. These include the Oi Oi Puff, a raspberry cream puff with passion fruit mousse, and the Batu Bon, a, a, this is a helping of chocolate cake with white chocolate mousse and coffee custard. Specialty beverages at that eatery also include Moof Juice. This is fruit punch, orange with pineapple, and chipotle pineapple mixed all together. Fatro, an Arnold Palmer with added pear flavoring. And the Batu Bucha, which is a pineapple passion fruit kombucha. Continuing through Black Spire and its deluge of food and beverage news, the menu of Oga's Cantina has been leaked online thanks to an eBay listing of the actual physical menu, giving us our first look at the three souvenir mugs we will be able to purchase. The first features a Porg at $32, and it comes with the non-alcoholic Cliff Dweller. Uh, This is made up of citrus juices, coconut, hibiscus grenadine, and ginger ale. Next is the indoor mug served with Yub Nub Cocktail. The Yub Nub Cocktail is made up of pineapple rum, spiced rum, citrus juices, and passion fruit, and the mug will come to $42, including the drink. Finally, for a whopping $75, you can take home the Rancor Beer Flight Souvenir Board up to, uh, and this comes with four Rancor teeth chalices and a sampling of beers. Make sure to check out the site for a full listing of each and every cocktail listed on that menu. We now move from Batu to Agrabah, where our favorite friend from Aladdin returns. No, I'm not talking about the live-action movie. After undergoing refurbishment for a few months, the beloved spitting camel of Adventureland is back, and it is just perfect timing for the sweltering heat. The spitting statue has been a staple of the magic uh, carpets of Aladdin since 2001, and while we were shocked to see her go, we're happy to have her back. Though recent photos show the statue is leaking water, so maybe Disney will have to use one of their wishes to take care of that. Outside of the U.S., we have some new updates on Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris. In February of 2018, we announced that there would be an expansion of Marvel, Star Wars, and Frozen-themed lands, with a new lake being the focal point for the entertainment experience. Well, recently, Disney has given us a little bit more information on what that lake will be all about, saying not only will it connect several of the new lands, but serve as a unique entertainment stage with a 360-degree view area. One could think of this sort of like the World Showcase Lagoon at Epcot. This lake will be fitted with the latest technologies to provide exciting water-based spectacles, complete with fountains, music, lights, and special effects that I'm sure will delight guests everywhere. Back in the States, things are about to get a little easier if you don't have a bag in a Walt Disney World security line. Disney security is phasing out bins at metal detectors, allowing guests to walk through with common items they may have inside their pockets, like phones, wallets, and keys. While talk of calibrating metal detectors to accept smaller metal items has gone around for years, up till recently, guests still had to chuck these items into bins before passing through metal detectors. So far, we've seen this implemented at security checkpoints at the Contemporary Resort Walkway, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. These updated security measures, of course, all come as part of a resort-wide effort to improve guest traffic flow in and out of the parks, starting with widened, revamped entrances and uh, also better security screening protocols. Last night, Animal Kingdom previewed two night shows, Rivers of Light, We Are One, and the Lion King-themed Tree of Life Awakenings series. Rivers of Light, We Are One is the next chapter of this beautiful nighttime pageant, filled with stunning imagery from Disney nature films, along with a colorful tapestry of moments from Disney animated classics, like The Lion King, Bambi, and Brother Bear. The show officially debuts this Saturday, and the show lasts approximately 15 minutes. Over at the Tree of Life, new Lion King-themed awakenings can be seen, which showcase moments from Simba's journey depicted in beautiful artistic style and set to new arrangements of familiar tunes from the film. Tree of Life Awakenings takes place approximately every 10 minutes, intermittently from nightfall to park close. Starting today, the Lion King fun continues at Animal Kingdom as they offer a jungle of new eats and treats to celebrate the upcoming remake. Items offered include the following... The Simba Ice Cream Sandwich. This is vanilla ice cream sandwiched between two chocolate chip cookies and decorated with chocolate tail and an image of the new CGI Simba. 
Simba's Sunset Dole Whip. This is a Dole Whip, uh, pineapple Dole Whip, uh, topped with red syrup made of watermelon and coconut. King's Cooler. This is the same Sunset Dole Whip, uh, but with rum, so, you know, better. Asante Slush, shaved ice topped with watermelon and passion fruit mango syrup. Serengeti Sangria, which is, well, just sangria. And then, of course, the Bugs and Grub Waffle Cone. Chocolate soft serve ice cream in a green cone with cookies and cream, dirt crumbles, gummy worms, and a chocolate beetle. Yum. Other offerings include the Lion King Latte Art from Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company, and of course, what celebration would be complete at a Disney park without a themed cupcake? Later this summer, a Lion King novelty sipper and a popcorn bucket will also be available at outdoor vending locations around the park. Finally, the epic aerial adventure Soarin' Over California returns to Disney California Adventure Park, albeit in an attempt to distract you from a little thing called Galaxy's Edge. The fan-favorite attraction will be returning for one month and one month only, June 1st to the 30th. This virtual tour celebrates the beauty and wonder of the Golden State, from the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge to the crashing waves in Malibu. Originally opened in 2001, Soarin' Over California became a fan-favorite attraction, but then in 2016, the attraction became Soarin' Around the World, taking you over the many wonders of the world from the majestic Alps to the Great Wall of China. Do note that while Soarin' Over California will be returning for a limited time to Disney's California Adventure, no changes have been announced for the Epcot version of the attraction. So bummer news for me. For more information on all these stories and more, head on over to www.nt.com. And let's uh, be honest, uh, everything's Galaxy's Edge right now. If you just want to know all about that, we've got you covered. We have a new site called starwars.wdwnt.com, and you can check that out. And of course, we have a new YouTube series coming out called Black Spire 101, which will give you all the insight on each shop, eatery, and attraction at Galaxy's Edge. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and then click the bell for notifications. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News, this is Nathan Hartman saying, enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. (laughs) 